All right, Patrick Ebert here back at the Hitters Academy. I got my two next guests joining me. If you could please introduce yourselves. I'm Dylan Moss. I live in Franklin, and I go to Franklin High School. Uh, Jackson Eastland, I also go to Franklin High School. Okay, let's talk about that Franklin connection, because I believe there's, what, three or four of you here? All four, play at, yeah. uh, all in the five. Franklin High School? Five, five, yep. five Franklin High School. Now, the five of you, you know, when you go back and play for your team and you have these hitters' experiences, you've both been with the program, let me see here, seven and six years. So you've been with this program a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, what are some of the things, like, when you go back to your team, where you can step up and be leaders and be like, not necessarily say, hey, this is how you should be doing things, but almost lead by example. Is that something that is kind of in the back of your head at all times, is just how to play this game the right way? Yeah, um, I think RJ teaches us how to compete, like, a lot, and we can okay. bring that there and kind of teach everyone that maybe hasn't been in an environment like this to how you play and how you go about things. So. Okay, similar for you, Jax? Uh, yeah, and I think uh, another big thing is, like, just – even starting with the basics like warming up you know you can see guys that like here we take a lot of time doing stuff like that to get ready to play i feel like in high school it's not really like that sometimes so i feel like we could take that knowledge there and help those guys out so the time and the commitment and the preparation play equal roles is playing on the field right yep for you as a pitcher can you talk a little bit about working you know with the coaches here at hitters and and how much you've improved and you know obviously getting a a commitment to oakland where you're going to be pitching at the next level yep. um just talk a little bit about that development um we've had a lot of pitching coaches here you know just a lot of knowledge from like minor league guys pro guys uh, college guys i think it's it's really beneficial because you get a lot of input from different people i think everyone's different so it's good to get um a lot of different opinions and I think the guys we have are really good at working with everybody. I think everyone gets like an equal amount of help from the guys, and everyone's improved a lot, so I think it's really good. Okay. And, Dylan, same for you, like more of a hitter, you know, the, obviously the pitching perspective. What are some of the things you've learned as a hitter to get better? I mean, I think you batted leadoff or close to the yeah. top of the order for the white squad, so you have to set the tone. Yeah. So obviously doing so is very important. Yeah, um, I, I like to be smart. You know, you don't want to have like a swing at a first pitch and be stupid and kind of not get what the pitcher's throwing. You want to be able to go back to the dugout and kind of have an idea to what to tell your teammates about what's the what the pitcher's going to be throwing. And just RJ's taught me to get down early, see it, and stay on it stay on top okay and the belly button thing is always here he hears yeah. that yelling from the crowd can you explain that for people that don't understand that um well guess the belly button uh you just want to keep it down straight don't want to kind of pull off yank it so and that's a part of staying on top of the ball correct yeah. okay so hitting line drives yeah. is very important and yeah. obviously being in a building like this where if you hit the roof in a simulated game you're out right mm-hmm. so just staying on top of the ball and yeah. squaring it up yeah uh, the ceilings, it's some, it's tough sometimes, but because in, in game it might be out, but mm-hmm. you never know. You want to line drive off the window. That's what RJ loves. Okay. Yeah. That that plays anywhere, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. The, the friendships you've built here, obviously the intensity in this building today, is it's a lot of fun yeah. for a Sunday. I mean, it's no way can we play outside, not even in the parking lot, you know, but we were able to come here, have this amazing indoor facility with this full-size Major League infield. You guys, you know, have built some big friendships, but as the white team taking down the Navy team, can you talk about the sense of pride that you have and even the ability to your teammates? You play in the championship game against each other, which in and of itself is a big deal, but to come out on top, regardless which team it was, you got bragging rights. You want to share a little bit about that, Jackson? Um, Well, I think it goes back, like you said, practicing in here, I think it goes back to competing in here and then taking it outside. Like today... I had a battle with uh, Will Veerling, and it like I think it got to three two, and everyone was getting loud, and it's it's those battles that leads to the the ones outside, and I think it's the friendships you build that make you want to beat them really bad, and then you get outside, and it's it's a lot of fun. So yeah, yeah. How about you? What are what are your observations from that? Um, so it kind of started like when the White and Navy, you know, we, it wasn't an A and B team, and when we could beat them out there, it really showed that we have been competing and just building up to for however long four or five years on the team and to beat them it felt really good now being with the program as long as both you have i mean you're obviously taking a lot as players and as people what's what do you what's the biggest takeaway you have i mean because you're both going to play in college so you have that next step which is another 
set of challenges that's going to present. Can you talk a little bit about what what the biggest thing, the biggest takeaways that you've made from this experience? Uh, it's honestly never take a day off or never come up come to play baseball like soft almost. You want to always be keep locked in and never never give up. Okay, and you? Um, there's two things for me I'd say. I'd, one is definitely you just you just got to try and outwork everybody and. Uh, I like what RJ said today at the beginning of practice. You got to be the first one in the weight room and last one to leave. I think that's really important. I think when you outwork everyone, it it leads to a lot of confidence. And then I've also learned here when you when you play with confidence. I think that's a thing that Cody teaches really well in the pitching room is just throw with confidence because when you have that, it seems like you can get anyone out. Yeah, yeah. If you don't believe you can win, you're going to lose, yep. right? Okay. Yeah, it's great stuff, guys. Really.